Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and today's video is all about a really popular tool that gets used in most repair shops around the world that do anything more than just screen repairs on an iPhone. If you do updates, if you erase them, if you do um, any kind of backup and restore of iPhones or iPads, you have probably heard of this tool and another tool called i4 tools. I only discovered i4 actually a couple weeks ago. Can't figure out how to put it in English, so I haven't used it. i4 is basically the Mac version of this. 3U tools is the pretty much all-in-one encompassing tool for everything iOS as far as uh, what you do with repairs and stuff like that. You know, you can browse apps to sideload to your device. You can work with your music and stuff like that. I don't even know what any of these things are because I... Are these download buttons? Click to download. Why am I getting, like, free music? Oh, they're ringtones. Okay. Uh, Smart Flash is basically for flashing iOS to a device. Toolbox lists pretty much everything you can use this tool for. And then there's tutorials for how to use it for making ringtones, things like that. Now, the big thing today is that there's kind of a fuss in the community that was brought up by GeoSnow and Yalu Jailbreak that 3U Tools contains malware. And if you have it installed, uninstall it immediately. It requires administrative privileges, which is false, and stores your device and Apple ID data and sends it to 3U servers, which is true. If you look at the URL right here, there is this uh, iOS.pclog.3U.com where it actually sends a log of all the info to, um, to 3U basically, and that's not information that 3U needs. Not at all. Uh, I could understand them needing that info for like matching up firmware and stuff like that, but they keep the logs. So they just have a log of millions and millions of iPhones and iPad serial numbers and model numbers and storage and battery health. Every little piece of tidbit information that 3U collects gets sent to that URL. Now, the thing is, the last couple versions have not required me to run the tool as administrator. So they have since found a way around needing the admin running function for this to still work, which realistically, I don't know why they had to have you run the tool as admin anyway. But today's video is going to show you how to patch out this update log so they stop getting your information. Um, and you can do this with each update. And I have actually gone through with one of my spare iPhones and I've tested pretty much every function of 3U, and everything is still functional without this URL. Well, you can actually patch the EXE by simply opening it in a hex editor or Notepad++. So what you want to do is find the main EXE, open it, and you'll want to search at ios.pclog.3u.com, and then go find next. And then on your keyboard, You'll basically want to click just right here, hit the insert key right above delete on your keyboard. Well, most people it's above delete. And then just start typing anything that completely blocks this out. You want to keep it, uh, keep the number of characters the same. So I recommend just blanking it out that way. Do not replace the bytes before or after the HTTPS here. Now there is other stuff here. It's not stuff that's really to worry about as much. That is the only location of that URL in the software. And what you can do then, just file, save as, and call it dot .patch. That is your now patched 3U tools, but let's say you want to take it that step further. And you want to also, if your computer is requiring to run it as admin, there is a tool called Resource Hacker. Resource Hacker allows you to modify executable files to some degree. But as you can see, request execution level require administrator is false. That means that it will not require you to ever run 3U as administrator. So I don't know where Yalu and GeoSnow are getting that information. It is not running as administrator whenever you run the most recent versions of 3U tools. But if this was true, 
then it would require it would basically require the tool to always run as administrator. So if you just set that to false and then go file, save as, and save the exe, you've effectively removed the need to run the tool as admin. And then once all of that is patched anyway, you can just open the tool and it still works exactly as it should. Actually, I'm going to find a lightning cable and prove it. Give me one second. All right, as you can see, it is reading the info from my device, but nothing is being sent to 3U. This is my spare iPhone XS Max that I've owned for a long time. You know, it's a little special because it's on really old iOS, which means it can be jailbroken. Mine is jailbroken. Um, no iCloud or anything like that on it, though. So, actually, you know what? I've been meaning to send this to it anyway. But as you can see, pretty much everything about this tool is still fully functional. Even though, there we go. And what this profile does is it blocks updates. Um, so you never have to worry about your phone updating if you want to stay on an older iOS. But as you can see, 3U Tools is still fully functional. I have blocked out that uh, need for that URL. And the place you can get the tools that you need is just honestly Google them. You can Google Resource Hacker. And you'll find it right here. It can do so much more than just change, you know, a true from a false. You can actually modify and align windows. You can do so much stuff in here. It's kind of insane. Um, Notepad++ is from notepadplus.org. Uh, and HXD, which I didn't end up using in this video, but sometimes I'll use this instead of Notepad++. Um, you can get it right here from mh-nexus.de. And you can get it right there. So... That's going to be your best bet if you want to use 3U tools and actually patch out that potential malware that is included in the tool. We'll have to wait and see how 3U responds to this and see if this URL disappears in later versions of 3U tools. I kind of doubt it'll disappear because they definitely obviously have it there for some reason, but they don't need as much information as they are gathering. So that's how you can patch it out. That's how you can block that URL entirely system-wide, and if you are worried about it in any other tools, you can always just search everywhere else. So it is in this tool as well. You'll just want to go in, do the same thing. Do the insert key, and then just add all the X's to it. And then file, save as, patch, or you can actually save over the original EXEs and not have to worry about these like patched ones. But these, I'm wondering if this URL is in literally everything. But at least you can go through, okay, it's not in their crash reporter, which is very strange. I wonder if it's in here. Not in here. They have a lot of uh, stuff in here, but it looks like pretty much everywhere it's possible to patch it out. So I wouldn't be too worried about it being there because it's so easy to block it. There is the updater. I doubt the updater has it in it. Let's see. It's not. Okay. So yeah. But even still, if you wanted to try to patch it out, it's very easy to patch it out. Don't worry about it. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed the little video tutorial and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.